Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us, being part of the channel. Don't forget to join us tonight for Mike of the Night. Link below in the first comment or link below in the description uh, on Odyssey tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for joining us. I want to thank everyone. Uh, it's been part following this channel for seven, eight, nine plus years. Uh, you know, calling it out, kind of following what's happening, uh, getting their, what, what, what you call it, um, their playbook, where they're headed with this. Thank you, everybody, for being part of the channel, supporting, liking, and subscribing, and sharing. It means a lot to me. Uh, on a personal front, um, I've had a lot of vocal people come into my place of business to tell me that they're no longer going to do business with me. I don't remember ever, ever any of these people ever doing any business with me since I've been living here in Merit. But they don't like my political views. They don't like uh, where I stand on certain things. And the information that I've been um, relaying to people is extremely dangerous. And I'm costing a lot of lives. So I've had four or five people come in this week to let me know that they're going to tell all their friends not to shop here. I'm like, take a number. There's another guy down the road that will tell you the same thing for the last five years. So anyways, that's just on a personal front. Uh, people are boycotting now my, my toy store. But anyways... What is happening on the front? Well, it's working. You see, when you bottleneck or, or bottleneck um, trade routes or highways or bridges or points of interest, you start waking up governments. Biden tells Trudeau trucker protests are having serious effects on U.S. companies and workers. Of course it is. And it's going to get worse. But what Biden is, doesn't, is not addressing to his people, and we have been for years, is U.S. companies have been in a major issue way before in 2016 and 2015. So why are they coming out with this? Well, they want to start, again, the cloak and dagger routine where they want to block out, they want to block out what is happening in a bad way with their double-digit inflation. Food's going to go up because oil's going to go up. When the price of food goes up, they're going to blame the price of oil for going up in transportation, and they're going to blame manufacturing costs. I made a video six years ago discussing... Oil goes down to $20 a barrel, but food prices still go up. Was it even tied to transportation, logistics, and manufacturing? No, it wasn't. It's just to hide the cover of inflation. Now, what's happening here in the United States is they need to hide the fact that they were doing bad all the whole time, and they're just going to blame the truckers. What better? What better? Well, you know? So so this is CTV uh, news here in Canada, and they're just reporting on the same few things. So they're obviously very biased news. Uh, police move in on an, uh, on an ambassador bit, a bridge. Protesters' Ottawa convoy remains defiant. Ottawa police announcing new uh, charges related to convoy as downtown ca uh, councillor calls for more action. Alberta not following Ontario's lead with state of emergency uh, over protest blockade. I think what he's doing is he's dropping all the mandates because they want to become the heroes. Remember that video we did about Boris Johnson in, in, in Australia? He lifts all the mandates. He was at a party with no mask, having a party. And they lift all the mandates. And guess what? Uh, he looks like the hero of Australia. The hero of the Commonwealth. Boris Johnson. Rolled it all back in Australia. So that's what's happening here. Let's go over here. Anti-vaccine mandate protests spread across the country, crippling Canada-U.S. trade. So there it is. They're calling them anti-vaxxers. When if you go in, we have to go into Mike of the Night because my main YouTube channel now has been blocked for the tenth time. So I can't get the message out on a bigger channel. But we are on Rumble now and everywhere else. I believe it is very serious and potentially grave, of course, because it's not follow falling in line. Um, what else? Now, the CBC front page is just the Olympics, a couple of protesters, police move on in ambassador. Yeah, they're, they're copying, they're parroting each other. These, they're parroting each other. Now, Australia has seen one of the biggest protests. This is not from the protests. This is, I don't know, this is uh, something else. Uh, but here it is. They're obviously uh, posting their controlled opposition on the front page, and there's nothing else. There's nothing. And this is the main Australian news reel. Australians broadcasting crap and Sydney news. There is nothing. Oh, no. I thought that was a protest there. Nothing, 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 and more nothing. And we go to news.com.au. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, here we go. Arrests as thousands swarm Canberra. So we got Anna Key there on location. She's already sent me a few videos. So this is a poor photo because the the, the people there, this, let's see if they actually, let's see what they show here. They're showing us a bunch of garbage right now. 
Oh, this is normal. See the thing you normal. Look at that. Yeah, this is the thing you normal. Yeah. Okay, nobody cares about your cleanser. Oh God. Okay, here it goes. There we go. Now we got some decent footage here. There it is. That's the Million Man March in Canberra, Australia. There it is right there. Uh, finally getting some footage in from the legacy media. The legacy media really does a good job to hide this stuff. Oh, continue watching. So people are moving on the on-ramp there to the uh, offset to the capital there. There's that, that exit there. And they're moving in towards the capital. And look at that. You know what protests, these protests remind me of? When they were protesting in Brazil in 2019 and Venezuela in 2019. Entire, everybody on the street protesting inequality, uh, you know, just the people uh, being pushed into homelessness. It, it was a thing before the pandemic or the pandemic people. It always was a thing. So don't look at these bandwagon channels that are just out there to get views and stuff. We've been reporting this for years. Look at the old channel. Go to Odyssey. All our videos have been backed up since 2010. So there it is right there. Cha-cha. Look at that. Really good. There's a fi finally a news agency that's actually reporting. But what did they say? They're calling them criminals? Three police have been, uh, three people have been arrested uh, after about 10,000 anti-vaccine. Uh, 10,000? That's 10,000 people? Oh my God, uh, convoy to Canberra, protesters have been gathering at the nation's capital for the past two weeks with the main focus on Saturday at Parliament House where people arrive after March in the morning. The crowd, has, uh, uh, the crowd was so huge that it spread out over you know, into the grass between Old Parliament House and Parliament House as well as the lawns uh, to, uh, to State Circle. So there it is right there. Look at that. There's more than 10,000 people there. I can tell you there is more than 10,000 people there. There's a lot of speakers there. And they're trying to make it look like like 10 people. Look at this guy. Go to Mike in the Night live or replays of Mike in the Night and see how I feel about this great Australian leader. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining, being part of the channel, sharing and liking. Remember, guys, we've been telling it like it is for over 10 years now. We haven't been telling it like it is the last two. We've been telling and warning people. Pull the trigger on a pandemic. We said it in 2019. And I kind of want to throw that out there because none of our videos gain any traction. And maybe it's my ugly mug. Maybe because I sell toys that people don't take me seriously. Or maybe I'm just too short. Or maybe I'm a Portuguese. Anyways, guys, lots of love, guys. I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you tonight on Mike of the Night. And to people coming in to tell me they're going to boycott me because of my political views or what I feel isn't going to change how I feel. And I've never trusted the government. Don't trust your governments. Question everything. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.